Hey there, Coach Hunter here and welcome to the channel where I help you take small steps to get big results in your health and fitness. And in today's video, we're talking about Michael Jordan's past and some of what was revealed in the newest Last Dance documentary in the first episode and showing how what was revealed can actually help you with your weight loss goals and fitness goals for that matter. So I wanna read you something from the documentary and then we're gonna dive into it a little bit more. So they open up the door, I walk in, and practically the whole team was in there. And it was like, things I've never seen in my life as a young kid. You got your lines of cocaine over here, you got your weed smokers over here, you got your women over here. So the first thing I said was, look man, I'm out. Because all I could think about was if they come raid this place right about now, I am just as guilty as everybody else that's in the room. From that point on, I was more or less on my own. This part of the documentary is extremely powerful because it gives us an inside look to Jordan's mind and what made him so successful. And the secret here is he was very careful about his environment. Your environment is created by the people who are in it, the things you're surrounded by, the sounds, the visuals. And in this case, he was around an environment that was not going to help him fulfill his dreams and reach his goals. And even though Michael Jordan had a strong mindset, there's a saying out there that says, a weak person in a strong environment is stronger than a strong person in a weak environment. And that's because the environment that we put ourselves in has such a big effect on every part of our lives. And if we're not careful, then it can be a very negative slippery slope as far as the actions that you're taking and the person that you are becoming. And because Michael Jordan was able to put himself in a positive environment, but maybe in this case, more importantly, removing himself from a negative environment, He's now considered one of the greatest of all time. Another extremely powerful example of how much your environment can have an effect on you is from the book Atomic Habits. And in the book, it talks about how in the Vietnam War, up to 35% of all service members who were over in Vietnam were using heroin on a regular basis. And up to 20% of those people were actually addicted to heroin. But the most amazing part is, when those 20% of users who were addicted came back home, overnight they broke their addiction. 5% out of all the addicted heroin users who were in the military actually stayed addicted. And only 12% of those addicted people relapsed within three years. So based off Michael Jordan's story and the story about Vietnam, we can come to assumption that environment is pretty important when it comes to you being successful with weight loss. A lot of people tend to say, and I've been here before too, that they need more discipline. But often the people who are successful aren't more disciplined than you or I or anybody else. They just create an environment for themselves so that they have to express that discipline less often. One strategy that you can implement right now that's gonna make sure you optimize your environment for weight loss is cutting off your habit trigger. And that's basically the action that happens before you trigger a habit. So for example, I have a love sack, a big beanbag chair in my living room. And every time I sit down on that beanbag chair, I go right to my phone and I end up sitting there on my phone for 15 minutes. By sitting down on that beanbag chair, it's almost a trigger for that habit to happen. So I know that if I don't wanna go on my phone, I'm not going on my beanbag chair. The same goes for me eating a lot of snacks and probably overeating is when I go to my dad's house to play board games, there's always a bunch of chips there. And somewhere along the lines, I just started eating chips every time I played this board game at my dad's house. So I had to make a decision. I had to say, okay, am I gonna stop going to my dad's house and playing the board game so I don't eat all the junk? Or I can try and change that habit and be aware of it and mind flood it so that when I go to my dad's house, I take another action. So that's exactly what I did. Every time I wanted to go for a bag of chips, I ate a fruit that was placed directly above the cabinet on where the chips were held. So now I was eating a fruit every time instead of eating the chips. And the first time I ate a ton of fruit and to be honest, I wasn't fully satisfied. But every time I did it, it got a little bit better and I'm still working on it to be honest, but it is getting better. So my question to you as we wrap up this video is one, what are the things that are in your environment that are triggering you to take those actions that might not be for your goals right now? Two, once you've identified those trigger habits, 
How can you maybe swap something out or is it something that you need to eliminate completely from your life? And three, finally, I want you to take action on it and take action on it as much as you can. Go ahead and take out a piece of paper right now and I want you to write down all of the different things that you're doing in your life that aren't gonna help you reach your goals. And then take a look at what am I doing before those habits? What am I doing that's triggering me to take actions that I know won't get me to where I wanna go? And that will help you control your environment just like Michael Jordan did on his way to success in his career. Losing weight is simple, but it's not easy, and taking action on these things I just shared for you will help you move in the right direction. However, if you feel like you're procrastinating on this or you have some block right now in your head, you wanna get in a space where you're ready to take action, where you're motivated, go ahead and click this video right here. It's gonna put you in a place where you're ready to go, and also, it's gonna help feed my two hungry tuxedo cats. They're like both 20 pounds, they need to eat, they're hungry. So Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to check this one out.